Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And today we have a unboxing video kind of. All right. And uh the stuff that's in this bag was ordered from Temu, T E M U. Uh it's like an amazon.com kind of store where you order stuff online and they send you the stuff you ordered whatever. <laughs> I guess that's how everything works these days, right? So, um, Temu is like a company like Amazon, like AliExpress, and like Wish, uh, Wish.com, whatever. So, let's get this unboxed first and um, keep talking about it as we unbox it. Uh, let me reach in here and uh, get the knife of the day to unbox this uh, thing. All right, and today I'm going to be using the Rough Rider. All right, to unbox this thing. All right, get in here. Try not to cut anything that's inside of the box or the bag. All right. Let's put that over here. See what's in here first. All right. First item we have here is a, um, I think a wallet. Let's get this open right here. This is the first time I have ordered from Temu, so um, bear with me. Uh, it is a snap button wallet pouch, wallet pouch, okay, fairly kind of dainty, uh, compact, uh, the design of the label is reminiscent of something you would probably see, Leatherman or something like that, um, uh, but, um, it's one of those generic, uh, made-up Chinese names, uh, Quizabate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where they come up with these names. But here we have an outside pocket. It's definitely made out of some cheap canvas material. Uh, it is not waxed material at all. It's uh, just something that you might find on a cheap blue jean or something like that, denim. Or canvas and there is two pockets right here all right so that's one product and we'll I'm gonna probably wind up making individual videos on each product so but uh, this is just the main unboxing thing here is a box generic box made in China um, rough packaging kind of probably got kind of beat up on the way here um, here is a, oh, okay. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty good size. It's a whistle, compass, thermostat, and, uh, I think, uh, I think this is supposed to slide out. I want to, okay, it's a flashlight flashlight thermostat compass whistle and I know this okay this is supposed to slide out oh here we go uh, now we got a mirror here okay that's a mirror that snaps in see okay and a um, magnifying glass all right so it's one of those little all-in-one survival tools all right go and put that to the side reach in the goodie bag here and see what's next all right so here's what uh one of the first things i ordered first and i'm probably going to talk about this one in more in depth but uh here um we have a pouch like a, a viperade pouch okay 
I ordered one like this through Amazon, and I'm gonna actually do some comparison video with this, uh, or the comparison on this with that product. It's got the one large pocket here, and then the front slip pocket here. And it comes with a neck strap. Okay, which the uh, Amazon one did not come with actually. But this comes with the neck strap, okay? And I'm gonna talk about all of this in depth after I do all the unve unveiling of what's in here. Let's see what's, what else is in here. Okay, so what is this? All right. It is, I believe this is the fire starter, okay? And it comes with, a length of cordage looks like some o-rings I'll put the o-rings back in here uh, it comes with uh, directions I'm gonna talk about all of this in a second. I just wanted, like I said, get all this unveiled. Um, so those O-rings are, or gaskets, or whatever you wanna call them, are extras. Okay, here's, um, here is a ferrocium rod. Uh, tighten that up a little bit, it was loose. So basically, mm, Okay, and I guess that's the striker. Use this to strike, strike the ferrocium rod. Okay, I'm not gonna really demonstrate anything right now. I'm just put this back. So this is this can actually fit on a lanyard and have it hanging loose. All right, so yeah, pretty pretty nice. I guess uh, better. It's more stylish to carry it this way than to just carry a bare uh, ferrocium rod hanging loose. All right, let's go to the next product. All right, in all these boxes, of course, because they were soft packaged, um, look a little beat up, but this product is in Chinese, made in China. Let's open it up. Packaging is pretty cheap. And the product just fell right out. <laughs> Let me go pick it up. I guess this would be, it fell to the floor on hard uh, concrete. So I guess this would be the test for durability. <laughs> and there is pretty, pretty decent looking, pretty fancy. Um, let's see how it, let's see if it turns on. Is it charged? No, maybe it's not charged. It's not turning on. No, oh, there it is. You had to press it twice to turn it on. Okay. Gets a little brighter. And a little brighter. And a little brighter. So it has four levels of brightness. Let's see if what happens if I press it multiple times. Okay, and then it lights up like a lamp. Okay, pretty cool. I like that. In fact, the Rovivon makes this. It's probably a copy of the Rovivon, um, but Rovivon actually is very much more expensive. You'll be surprised how much I pay for this one. It's got blue light. It's got a red light. It's got a red flashing light. And it's got the police light. Red and blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you want to pull a car over, I guess you can just <laughs> flash this through your windshield. Uh, not legal, by the way. Uh, you're not allowed to do that, <laughs> so don't don't do it. Now, how do I turn it off? Just one press, one prolonged second or two press turns everything off. Okay, turn it back on. To turn it back on, flash. I mean, uh, press twice, 
and then you go through all your modes. Yep. Then let's leave it at the bright setting and turn it off. There we go. Oh, I like it. Um, the plastic is, uh, it's not one of those real solid feeling plastics, but uh, for what I pay, I think this makes an awesome, awesome um, keychain flashlight. It comes with a USB cord for recharging. Um, very simple. Oh, and it's USB-C. Wow, I am impressed. For a device that is so cheap, it is actually um, keeping up with the times. All right, let's reach in here, get the next one. And this one is one of those survival cards. Um, take it out of its plastic, cheap plastic wrap. There we go. Put that to the side. All right, so this this is a uh, comes with the saw. Uh, comes with some toggles here. Uh, it comes with fishing hooks. More fishing hooks. A frog. This is a frog gig. You could, I guess, attach to a stick or whatever. Here's an arrowhead. You can attach this to the arrowhead um, shaft of a, a slim branch. Make a makeshift arrowhead. I mean arrow. Okay. Comes with some spear head, spear, one sided spear head uh, hooks. I guess you could use this whole card to saw something. I guess I don't know. And it comes with a round saw. Okay, let's move on. Reach in here and grab the next one. Okay, another survival card kind of tool. This one here is kind of got the sticky package. There we go. All right, now I got this one because I wanted to get a little bit a step above what Walmart sells. They sell the uh, survival card card tool in the camping section, which is only like $1.98. This one wasn't that much more expensive, but this one comes with some wrapped cordage. Look like very inexpensive bank line. It's not, it's not paracord. Um, the edge of the tool seems a little sharper then the one Walmart sells, the silver one I have. Okay, it comes with the bottle opener here, uh, the uh, adjustable wrench uh, sockets, uh, one inch ruler here, and a flat tip screwdriver here. Uh, has a two two blades on this side and th this side and this side. And uh, I guess you could use one one end for patani, the other end for uh, carving or or prying or or whatever you need to do with the not so sharp edge, but sharp enough to do whatever you need to do. Here is a serrated. Uh, it's not sharp. It's pointy, and I'm sure you can make notches with this. You can probably make notches with that. And then you have the can opener here with the with the uh, sharp edge right here. You can open cans with it. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do with this. Add it to our pouch or whatever. Uh, let me see. Let's go in and get the another one here. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? A miniature oxygen tank. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get this open and. Find out what this is all about. Now, this is pretty damn big. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this. I thought it was going to be about the size of a peanut lighter, but uh, boy, did I gauge that wrong. Um, 
it has a, a real very cheap plasticky kind of hard uh, o-ring or sealant here uh, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be watertight but it's it's aluminum it's made out of aluminum okay and I guess you can use this to store pills uh, or or uh, whatever knickknacks you have to hang on your keychain or or your pouch or whatever or your belt just to ha keep something from being crushed or uh, just to keep something dry and keep it from being crushed more probably for little knickknacks like pills and um, little tools and stuff that you don't want lost in your pocket all right let's see what else is in here and that's all she wrote folks all right so te let's talk about temu temu this all this all of this was delivered to me by UPS and all of this took about almost a week a week a full week about 7 days to get to my house all right and believe it or not all of this cost less than $25 yep now as i said i'm going to talk about this Recently, I ordered this pouch, if I can get it out of my pocket. <laughs> All right, let's get it out. There we go. Recently, I ordered this from Amazon, this pouch right here. And this is actually a no-name, made-up brand, uh, LZ Bay. They, even though they have a trademark symbol right there. Um... I don't know. I don't know the company, but I know it's made in China. I ordered it from Amazon, and this was $9.99. And it did not come with a neck strap slash shoulder strap. Okay. And um, it's not metal. It's plastic or whatever, but it's hot. it feels like a, a upper grade plastic, actually. I don't know. Maybe it is metal. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so this came from China too. And Viperade is actually a Chinese brand, believe it or not. And look, they're about the same size. This one's tiny bit bigger. It's got the zipper pocket in the back. It's basically the same product. <laughs> um, in fact, let's let's do this. Let's take these items out of here and put it in here okay and this this bag okay this pouch from amazon cost nine dollars and 99 cents this pouch cost under three dollars or was it under four dollars anyway it was very very cheap all right and to be honest with you it feels like the same material, same design, same make, same whatever. All that is the same, basically. All right. Let's put the Rough Rider in here. Okay. That fits in there. Okay. Get the big lighter out. And put the big lighter in here. And I'm going to also be talking about the pros and cons of ordering from Amazon and Timu. Okay? So, here we have the notepad. Let's go in here. Let's see if we can fit the rest of the stuff that's in here. Just to show that uh, this this can be here's the card card tool my challenge coin some bandages and wipes I should I, sh I actually should have put that in first let's put that in first bandages and wipes first. And then 
this. Challenge coin. That's what's. Oop. Oh. Uh, keep dropping stuff. All right, here's my pill box, and that's all of that was in there. I'm gonna put that to the side, put this over here, and put the wipe in here. And boom. Okay, so we have everything that we had in this pouch is in this pouch now, except for just in a different color and a different made up name right here, okay? And, but this one doesn't have the uh, copyright R on it, like this one does, LZ Bay. See how they have the copyright R on it? This one doesn't, okay? But they're both from China, probably from the same exact factory, to be honest with you. Same prob probably about the same factory as where the Viper Raid uh, pouch comes from. The only difference between Viper Raid and these two is Viper Raid has a, um, um, the um, Velcro uh, hook pad, the soft Velcro hook pad right here. That's about it. So... All right, now let's talk about Amazon versus Timu. Okay, uh, I never order from other uh, online sites like Wish and Ali Dot Express. I think Ali Dot Ali Dot Express is uh, uh, something that Asian people use in other countries, but I've never used it here in the United States. I never use Wish either, but I decided to try Timu because I could. I just could not believe how cheap everything was. And to be honest with you, this one right here, this was, I believe, less than $4, around two something, or maybe three, just under $3. Um, on Amazon.com, this goes for anywhere from $10 to $16. Yep. Same exact thing, you know. Um, as I said, this bag right here, this pouch, was under maybe four dollars, a little bit around four dollars. Okay, this one was nine 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 dollars and ninety nine cents. And if you bought the Viper Aid one, was that one was gonna be about almost twenty bucks. And they're all from China. All right, uh, something like this. This was like a couple of dollars. Okay, and um, I believe if you get it from Amazon, it'll be like. Uh, probably close to ten dollars. Okay, this flashlight I think was the most expensive one here. Uh, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think this was around five, somewhere between five and ten dollars. Okay, it was very cheap. And if you bought the Rovivon version of this, it's gonna cost uh, thirty bucks. 35 40 bucks okay might be even more expensive now on Amazon all right um, a ferro rod like this this was only a couple of dollars as well and um, if you went on Amazon it'll cost anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars okay or maybe if you're lucky you might find it under ten dollars all right this I don't know I have no idea what this would cost on Amazon um, something as simple as this, this might cost you, I don't know, about eight bucks on Amazon. This was like a dollar and some change. Okay. So if you're looking for something like this, they, they sell six of these cards in a pack. If you buy the whole six, I think they're like, uh, $6, a dollar a card. Okay. So if you're looking for something like this, go to Temu. A wallet like this. I think I like this wallet. I think I will carry this wallet in my back pocket. I won't put anything uh, other than probably qu uh, qu quarters, maybe emergency money that I put in my uh, receipts and stuff like that. I probably use it for that, or keep my lighter in here. I don't. I don't know. 
It seems like a handy thing to have. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. All right. So, the pros of Temu. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And not everything is cheaply made. Most of it is probably about the same thing you're going to get on Amazon. But price-wise, cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay? Can't get better deals. This is stuff that is coming directly from the manufacturers in China. You order it, they ship it, and you'll get it. But the cons of shopping at Temu is it will take a while for it to be delivered to you. It's going to take a minimum of at least one week, seven days, for this to get to your doorstep. Like I said, tracking it, I, I, could, I could track I was tracking it from, they'll tell you it's arrived at the airport for flight. And then when, once uh, it leaves that, that airport to come to your airport in this country, um, it'll tell you so. And then it'll tell you it arrived at the airport for uh, shipping to the facility. Then it gets to the facility. And of course, then it, you know, it's just like Amazon, but it's that coming directly. It's coming from China. Okay, so think of it as a modern day slow boat to China kind of scenario where instead of it coming from it coming on a boat or or a shipping boat, uh it it's being flighted over here, but it's gonna take at least a whole week. Okay? And it's free most on the most part it's free shipping. Now if you order from Amazon.com and you don't have Prime membership, which you're paying about $16 a month for. If you don't have that, you're going to be paying for shipping, okay? And then if you want it right away, you're going to pay extra to get it delivered to you faster, okay? So you have more shipping options. Um, now, if you have Amazon Prime and you get deliver, free delivery, it may take anywhere from same day next day or it may take up to about three or four days all right so you get your product that you order from amazon a lot faster even although the cons of it is the products that you buy on amazon is going to cost you more than the products you buy at temu now don't get it twisted folks all of this stuff is coming from china okay so if you're ordering stuff from Amazon, at one point or another, regardless if it if it's stocked or in the Amazon warehouse, when you order it and you get it like the same day or the next day, okay, that product, even though it was stored in Amazon at a local facility, still came from China. Okay, so don't don't let's not get into this. Oh, you're buying from China or you're you know this and that. Everything in here is is from China, all right? So don't, you know, we're, we're excluding that in the comparison, okay? The, the fact is, when you order from Temu, basically you're ordering directly from the manufacturer or the company or the factory or wherever warehouse they have in China. You're ordering from them, and they're just shipping it right to you, and it's going to take about a week, maybe sometimes two weeks. I've heard some people waited, had to wait almost a month to get their um, product. But if you order from Amazon, because Amazon has local warehouses and all this and that, most of your popular purchases or uh, merchandise are probably already at the warehouse ready to be shipped and sold to you. Okay, And if you're buying from like a third-party vendor that work with Amazon, um, they're more than likely they're here in America ready to ship it to you um, within the country, you know. Uh, and those people are probably getting the wholesale product actually from China, okay. So we're, this is not about buying stuff from China. This is not about Chinese, buying Chinese-made products. Let's face it, regardless if you're going to deal with Amazon, Temu, Wishlist, whatever, 90% of everything you buy is made in China. So, okay, that's this is not what that video is about. But anyway, here is my first experience with Temu. Uh, as far as the main thing that I wanted to purchase, which was this this pouch, this pouch, uh, Amazon, Temu, 
actually Temu wins in this uh, comparison because not only is it the same pouch, same quality, but also uh, not it, it it only costs like less than half of what that pouch costs. Yet they also sent me a neck uh, um, a neck strap or a shoulder strap that goes to this pouch right here. Okay, as you see, there's there's loops here for the that strap, but this one didn't come with that, and it caught, and that one costs more than twice as much as this one. All right. So also uh, another purchase that I was very happy with this flashlight for a fraction of what the Rovivon charges and what Amazon charges for this same particular model, same make. This was this was very cheap. Okay, and uh, you know. I think I'm gonna put this one on my wife's keychain, and I'll probably get my own. I did recently lose my Rovivon. I It fell off of my key ring, and uh, I, don't, I couldn't find it, so I do need another one. I'm probably gonna order another one of these. Um, depending on how long it lasts, if it, if it only lasts six months, I got my money's worth out of it. Shoot, I paid, what? $26 for my Rovivon that I just lost and I've only had that for less than a year now and I lost it already So if I'm gonna lose stuff Why am I gonna spend um, a lot of money on stuff? I'm gonna lose right so if I lose this flashlight here or if my wife loses it or breaks it No big deal, right? I could just order another one. It just costs as much as buying a pack of uh, AA batteries <laughs> You know so um, Yeah Happy with this purchase. I think this one would be okay. This here, I just, I don't know. I, I was I was intending to buy one of these a long time ago, and it was so cheap. I thought I'd buy one. I think this is going to just remain inside of a car for uh, emergencies or whatever. But I'm going to hang this up in the car somewhere. Or put it in one of my day hike pouches or bags. Yeah. But, uh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to do some more videos on individual or maybe uh, once I set this, I'm going to actually keep, I don't know, which one you guys think? Give this one to my wife or this one to my wife? Which one is more of a feminist look to it? Because I'm going to kit out one of these pouches for my wife. All right. So, all right. And when I do, I'll make a video of that. All right. So, thanks a lot. I know this is a long video. Please like and subscribe and make a comment. Thank you.